Now that we've been putting Taxdome for its pacers, we've been able to have an opportunity to be able to see exactly what we like about Taxdome. One of the key features there has to be their automation platform. Now I'm an absolute sucker for automation. Automations for me is where you get the opportunity to get those mundane tasks you have with your clients, be able to make them automate so that you can actually start adding value to the client themselves. And to me, this is huge. And what automation does is it gives us the opportunity to be able to go out there and really fine tune that and really give us an opportunity to be able to automate as much as we possibly can. And because Taxone puts it into what they call pipelines, it's actually really easy for you to be able to go through and actually keep on top of all these automations. In other software, sometimes those automations, you're never 100% sure if they've worked or not worked or are they working as intended. In Taxone, they make it super simple. Straightforward to set up in the first place. More importantly, really easy to keep on top of. And that's what I like about this approach. The approach that actually automation was the forefront of how Taxstone was going to be built. And all of the back end of and everything that we've got is all designed to have an automation element to it. And what that gives you an opportunity to do is, like I said before, forget having to worry about those mundane tasks. You'll be able to wow your client with some really quick and easy ways of being able to onboard them, etc., and be able to automate processes. And then you're going to be able to spend that time you've saved on actually wowing the clients even more by adding some additional opportunities for them and adding value to their actual service. And that's what being a modern accountant is all about. So I'm really excited to have a play around with workflows in a little bit more detail, because I believe that it's the workflow side of things which sets Taxdome apart. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer with a fancy new logo, that quick book chap on the internet, head of accounts here at Boffix, and also your friendly podcast who goes live each and every Monday morning, 8.30 a.m. with As the Accountant. Now, today's video is all about making sure that you know how you have the option to be able to go and automate a accounting firm. And realistically, that's one of the most important things because as accountants, we need to make sure that we don't mess up or miss out on any of our clients' filing deadlines or account due dates or anything like that. So to help us assist this, Taxdome has made things really, really simple by enabling automation directly within your workflow. Let's go straight and have a look at it because I think this is an absolutely amazing feature. Let's have a look. All right then, so if I go over to what's called the workflow area, which gives a kind of example of what we're about to look at, right? And you can see here, I've already got some workflows already set up. Now the pipeline option you can see here looks great. I could create a new pipeline from scratch if I want to. Here's a little trick. If I head over to the settings area and I go to pipelines within here, then from here you have the option to copy from library, which means Taxdome's done all the hard work for you. If I say copy from library, and I go find the England UK it is here. And then from there, I can go in and find one. So let's look at the 6408 confirm agent authentication. Press a little copy button. Suddenly, well, that's in my pipeline. So what are pipelines? Well, if I click into them, um, you can see you can put a name up here. So I'm probably going to get rid of that UK element. In fact, I'm going to get rid of all of that bit and just call it 6408. Uh, I can say what it's available to, and I can say where the jobs are, um, and I can then set job card field here. So do I want a due date on it? Yes or no. I can even say enable recurring recurrence as well. Now for this one, I don't need to recur it, but if this was something that was going to happen on a regular basis, I definitely need to recur that, right? Because what I don't want to do is complete the service for our client in the first period and then forget about the subsequent period. It's really important to have that there. Then it gets really clever. So this is your request info. So you get to choose what these stages are. And you can add new stages in at any point by using this add stage button just here. And then you can start adding stages. But ultimately, you're saying, what do you want to happen during the stage? And in the first one, it's going to have, well, there's kind of any conditions, but you can say, let's create an organizer, let's send an email, let's update the account tax, let's put some automation into it. And it's also auto move, move jobs automatically when linked actions are completed. So once we've completed that, it moves you over to the next one. It says apply for authentication code. So in this case, it's going to automatically create a task for me. And I can edit this automation, add some new ones, and I've got loads of options here. So I can apply a folder template, I can update some tags, send an invoice to a client, create an organizer, create some, send proposal, send email, add a wiki page. 
all of these options can be automated when I move from one part of the task to the next one or the stage, so to say. So once I've got those up to date, I can then keep going. I've got request authentication code, which includes in this one, send an email to the client telling them that as soon as they have that request code come through, let us know about it. And then I can say an upload to HMRC, create a task, get the client to tell them where to go and upload it for them, send that email to them a few days later and say, look, you should have had this by now. Here's a link so that you can go and upload that to us nice and easily. And then ultimately, once that's finished, I can then go and decide what happens when it finishes at that point in time. But the whole point is, is if you spend some time really thinking about it to yourself, about what you can do to automate your process, to figure out your whole workflow from start to finish and delivering a service for a client, then this is where that becomes really powerful. Because once you've figured that out, then you can automate some of those sections, like sending emails, sending a request to grab some data from a client, send them a chat message through the chat. You're gonna have those touch points with your clients, communicate with them, so they're gonna feel like you are actually delivering that service. Even if there's a delay, like 64.8, I can't complete in one day, because I'm gonna have to wait for a piece of post to arrive to my client. Well, that's absolutely fine, because doing it this way, I can automate the fact that I'm reaching out to the client to tell them that we've requested it. I'm reaching out to them to tell them what the next stages are. And I'm also reaching out to say, look, when this does arrive, please plonk it in this particular area, this upload area that I've provided for you, because that's gonna make my life easier. And that means we're not gonna lose any of these really important pieces of information. And to me, that's where this becomes an absolute game changer. You can apply these stages, whack in a load of automation, and your likes of Carbon, where they kind of do this as well, this is far more simplistic. You, you can do this, anyone can be able to get this automation in and figure this out, because all you're doing is really just mapping out what your process would already be, which as accountants, we all love to do, but this way, we're not just mapping it out, but also stating what happens and automating some of that process as we go along. I love this feature and I really can't wait to get to grips with how to automate more and more and more of my clients' journeys. If you want more tips and tricks about the way that Tax Dome is working and how it works for you, let us know. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. And also, if you've got any questions for Tax Dome, let us know in the comments below. We'll make sure we pass them over to the Tax Dome team. My name's been Alan Patrick. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.